If you won't spend three hundred thousand dollars, you don't deserve to be in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't think that anybody who isn't willing to that they're not willing to invest isn't really going to make it in the music industry. I mean, that's really a facetious number, but in all reality, um, people who give the most usually get the most. Um, for us at Gadsden Records, Royal Epic, whatever you want to call it, when we first started, uh, a friend of mine gave me 275000 And we then in turn did a concert, an arena concert, and we kind of like risked it all. You know, to us, there was no uh, coming back from where we came from, and it made the most sense at the time. So, you know, a question I ask people when I uh, meet them is like, hey, if you did this for the next 10 years and you got didn't get paid one dime, would you still do it? You know, a lot of people have to sit and think. And when they sit and think, I already know that they're not really ever going to make it because when the tough times come, they're not going to be able to handle it, you know? And then for us at this company, when we always had those opportunities to not invest or to invest our time, effort, and money, we always did it and we always went all in, you know? So that's something that, you know, it's one of our core principles, I'd say. You know, you got to do it. is getting quality stuff, whether it be music, photos, anything you do, make sure it's of quality, because you know, with the world that we're living in today, are, kids growing up today, um, they see Identifying their target market, um, most importantly, they're organizing their friends and their people to work inside their organization.